Hello, and welcome back. I'll be doing some glass guitar picks today here on the Matt Yasa channel. I'll be starting off on a nine millimeter rod. I'll keep heating and rotating and I'll slowly gather into a small sphere. These are the first steps to marble making, but I'll be smashing this one out to make the pick. And so a guitar pick is used to pluck or strum the strings of a guitar. They're made in different thicknesses, but usually always in that rounded triangular shape which I'm shaping right now by using a lot of heat and gravity to droop out the tip. I'll use my graphite paddle not only to flatten it, but to create that sharper edge at the tip. This is very similar to the glass kunai episode. And now you may be wondering, will it make the guitar sound differently when played versus a plastic pick? And so I'll be testing that out at the end of the video but I hypothesize it probably won't make much of a difference. If you've seen the glass tuning forks episode, I talked about how the composition of the material makes most of the difference. And so for the electric guitar, which is a pretty ingenious invention, it has nickel wound strings, which you pluck. And if you've seen my magnet episodes, you would know there's very few materials that interact with magnets, iron, cobalt, and nickel being one of them. And so when you pluck the string, it sends a vibration down over the pickup, which is a small magnet. The pickup is also wound with a wire that interacts with that magnet and sends that signal to the amplifier. And so you're able to hear the vibrations digitally. And now from this pick, you might have noticed there's a large fingerprint on it. Well, that's actually from the pressing process. It's normally an imperfection. I make sure to melt out of my projects, but I'm gonna leave it in this one because I wonder if it'll help improve the grip. So here's my electric guitar. I got it about 10 years ago. I haven't been practicing as much, but I'll do my best here to test this out for you.